Welcome back, heroes, to some more Cassette Beasts. Last episode, we did a lot of exploring. We got a brand new companion, Meredith, who's actually really cool. I, I like Meredith. But as you can see on the map, we explored a large chunk. We got a brand new ability, like Magnetics, which is uh, really awesome. If we look at the map, we're going to actually head just over here. Because this is where the abandoned mall is, and we, could, we got permission to go there and try and get the final record for Meredith. So we got a lot to explore. And I want to try and get over here if we can to uh, try and get to the Landkeeper's uh, office. And there's uh, something else we can do. So we look at the quest log. So yeah, we want to go over here, and then we go back down here to Harbour Town, meet Felix. And I think Felix is going to be a brand new companion as well. So I want to try and do that a little bit. And then couldn't find the Mana Spear. We've got the Metal Woman somewhere around here. Hopefully we can find him. The Ruin we're not going to get to this episode because that's quite far away. And there's the Landkeeper's place we want to try and go to. All right. So let's start making our way back towards this way, and see what we can find. Did I battle you? I didn't. Hi. There's a campsite not far from here, but first, let's see how good you are. I've already been to the campsite because I jumped down. <laughs> oh no, not a star degrade. I hate these so much. But our dandelion did evolve. It's looking real cool. Actually, let me just switch because these things are really annoying to deal with. So I switched switch the team up quite a bit as well just to try and like um, evolve some new monsters and see what they look like because uh, we got some really cool ones. I'm just kind of curious to see what they look like when they evolve. We've got Morty Strike. Okay, so let's go Bomb Bomb Blast. And never charge. And we missed. Of course we missed. <laughs> oh, I missed so many attacks. That's fine. You've got Morty Strike now. Provoke. Okay. Alright, Bomb Bomb Blast. Do not miss. I do not like battling these things. Out of all the monsters so far, this is my least favorite. Star Degrade. I just hate fighting them so much. They are so, so annoying. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just go for a smack and a smack and that should be enough to take you out. Nice. I think that was your only monster. Yeah, sweet. And we're almost level 36. We are gaining so many levels. Well. So you run into the campsite if you keep heading west? You can't miss it. I've already been there. So what does this button do? Hmm. Oh, this is the first of what the rangers have been calling the moving signposts. Some speculate that if you stand on the buttons in the right order and follow all the signposts, you're, it'll lead you to treasure. Obviously, it just takes you into a big loop. Okay, so it says go down. Oh, that's uh, that's a long way to get here. <laughs> Don't ask me where I keep my tapes. <laughs> that reminds me of um, that trainer, like the one of the swimmers in Pokemon, was like, "Don't ask me where I keep my balls." All right, let's go for a charge. Yes, yeah, so we won't be able to do this little like quest of the signpost just yet, I don't think. So we, we can't surf right now, but once we do, we got so much to explore. Just like with the rock when we can like break the, break the boulders, there's so much more to explore. So let's go for a smack again and another charge. But it's fine. Like, I'm kind of glad we're <clears throat> a little bit limited to where we can explore. Because right now there's already so much I need to go and do. If I could, if I could surf right now, like swim, I, I could just literally go anywhere. Anyway, so let's uh, go this way. Yeah, so I need to go. Yeah. Oh, not sure what that was, but oh, I reset. Okay, so we need to um, go back up here and hit that button. Right. So does after a certain amount of time, does the world kind of reset a little bit? So we hit this. That unlocks the way to get back from that side. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to take this rock with me. Because there was like a little switch. I needed to hit free, well, uh, hit free switches. But obviously we needed something to put down the rocks. Wait a second. Hey. Did I hit this? Oh. Okay. Well that makes life easier for next time. <laughs> Missed that last time. Right, so if we go this way. I kind of forget where whereabouts it is. Well, here's one. Pretty sure I need to hit that first. Yeah. So then we go through this way. The other one is here, so if I can find something to hold that down. Wait, is that the um no, that's the um, electric thing. We'd be oh, there's a, a rogue fusion over there. Should I fight it? Yeah, go on then. Let's go do it. 
Yeah. So we can find. Ooh. Okay. So that Brax suit, I'm, I'm fairly certain we probably caught the evolution of that last episode. So I might try and catch this now then. Alright, let's just uh, hit you with this. Do a bit of damage. Won't do too much, but it's better than nothing. Oh, whoa, that does a lot to me though. Okie dokie. Right, first things first, let's, um, no, let's go record. Use on you. And hit this. 66% right, chance, and then obviously the charge should do a lot of damage unless I get hit and I die. Come on, let me get the charge off. Let me get the charge off. Oh no, it made me attack you instead. I got you still though, that's fine. Woo! I was gonna fail that. All right, let's focus on trying to win this fight then. All right, bomb bomb blast, and I still can't target you, so it's gotta be you. Acorn mortar. Oh my god, 162, and we missed. <laughs> Why do I miss so many attacks? I love bomb bomb blast, but we just miss so much. Right, uh, I'm gonna try this. It's the whole team. And then we'll go Toy Hammer. I do wanna give a suction cup dart, but I feel like my accuracy right now has been really bad, so I'll just play something a little bit safer. Don't wanna be missing. All right, not bad, actually quite a bit. Got the poison off as well. Oh, dude, we missed again. Oh, that's okay, and we missed again. <laughs> Oh, what is my luck? All right, uh, just gonna go for it. If we can land it, it'll be big damage. Okay, please, please, please. All right, so you've gone. And again, onto you, got 11 turns of poison. Wait, you actually landed the attack, sweet. Insulated. Bomb bomb blast and toy hammer, please land the attacks. Well, I think we'll get taken out here, unless you don't attack. Are we good? Nice. Evasion down. Yeah, try dodging these now. Ooh. So that's the evolution of, um, on the left. That's the evolution of the electric one we got last episode. So I'll take you out. And I'm going to try and capture the, uh, the hunt torch. Because we do not have that. Uh, let me record. So you are grass. Well, plant type. Plant type. Let's go for this. And let's go for a suction cup dart. If we can land this, it'll do a lot of damage. Probably gonna hit you first, but I'm still worried I'll kill you. 35%. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Land the attack. Nice. 100%. Yeah, BB. Let's go. Woohoo. Nice, nice, nice. We got this bad boy. So hunt torches are avid trackers able to pursue a target that is several miles ahead of them with li little difficulty. They've been known to accidentally set their own leafy exteriors on fire with the torches they carry. Oh no! <laughs> oh, imagine accidentally setting yourself on fire, honestly. Right, let's just double smack and take you out. Nice. I'm hoping there's gonna be another campfire quite close to the mall. Because we are taking quite a bit of damage. Right. Can we pick this up? Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was a, um, an enemy, but Busher, I guess that's the, the evolution, well, the pre-evolution to the one we just caught. So we'll get this as well, just because I, I don't mind not catching the evolution, but we want to get the pre-evolution, so, you know, it's, uh, we can up to the, the encyclopedia or whatever, we'll, we'll build him. So we can always evolve our monsters into what needs to go into, but we can't devolve it. But as far as I know, we can't devolve it. Alright, so let's smack you and smack you. Nice. 
Okay, so now they try and catch you. Record. Uh, let's just go for a chrome tape. And then we'll go for a toy hammer. A little bit safer to land this. 66% chance. That'll easily make it 100, just don't hit me. Sweet. Okay, oh, we got this. All good, all good. Okay. So bush eyes are almost exclusively found hiding within bushes, which gives them the ability to both hide from predators and sneak up and prey. They can lie motionless and hide in for hours at a time. Sometimes dozing off and missing their moment of pounce on their targets. Oh, these monsters are funny. Alright, so let's take you out with a few smacks. Okay. Right, so. Anything else I can pick up? If I can't pick anything up, then I'm just going to have to leave it for now. But I feel like I need to get up there. I feel like the way to do this is going to have to be... Wait, unless I can bring these things. So let me just grab this. Oh, that just takes me down. This one, on the other hand. Oh, did not mean to go into you. Maybe this clearly takes you out. Alright, smack. Wait, hammer. So we can put this on the second block, but that might be to weigh it down. And the question is, where is the third one? If not, I can maybe jump down uh, where we almost fell down a second ago and just see what's around there. Nice, good damage, good damage. Ooh. Okay, so let's pick this up. And up we go. So we put this onto here. Last one. It's gotta be up there. Oh, that's one of the houses for the um, land keepers. Okay. I wonder if I can do this. No, I thought maybe I can get across. Need to get over there. So let's jump down. Oh, uh, hello. This, is, this robot seems to be malfunctioning. There's a coin slot on his back. Perhaps there's a suitable coin on the island. Oh, coin operated. Okay. So, does that tell us where the coin is? Oh, the side quest. So it's just over there, okay. I can try and find that. Uh, where else do we want to go? So we, just, we can't climb the vines, can we? There is a campfire up there. Which I want to get to. So what does this button do? This does that. Right. Oh. So we can put the crate on there, but then we need to get the blue box, which we... Ah, oh, that's quite far away. We can maybe do it. Right. Toy hammer. I keep getting distracted. There's so much to do. <laughs> so much to do. But when we, we're slowly getting loads of stuff done, which is great. I am gonna smack ya and then toy hammer. Oh, go on, finish it off, finish it off! Oi! Don't get a chance to use your next tape. Haha! <laughs> Woo! Hmm. Right, so let's put this onto this. So now we just gotta find a blue thing. Oh, almost went into that. What we, oh. Wait, can we grab this one? We can just go up that way, okay. There's another big blue thing here. There is a lot. Oh, if that was on, we could jump across that. Alright, so that area right there is where we want to, want to get to for the Landkeeper quest, or rumour. 
All right, what else can we do? So we need a blue box here. Do you guys want to fight or are you just like chilling? You do want to fight. We might look the same, but we're not twins. Okay. Thomas and Tommy. Oh, there's a mana spear. Uh, let's go leech. And toy hammer. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Good thing we do a lot of damage to these dudes. Don't attack my... Oh, my Robin Dam. Who should we go into? Musk Muskratier. And was Smackia and... Oh, you got Toy Hammer as well. Hey, nice. I feel like when this thing evolves, it's going to be so cool. But we just don't do much damage at the moment because we're just so... So small. Small monster. We can take you out at least right now. Harry Stance, that's fine because Leech will take you out. Hey! Copper Chop, that's good. Yeah, keep attacking our, uh, our Dandelion no more. We got no AP. So this is fine. Just hoping like once we get to the campfire, maybe we can remaster some of these monsters quite quickly. And that will make them a lot better. So I'm just thinking like when we had the whatever Robin Dam was before, when we first got it with Eugene, it wasn't that great, but the moment it evolved, whew, it was so good. Come on, come on. And a leech might finish it off. Unless we can get a little smack off beforehand. Copper chop. And bam, leech does damage. Sweet. But I'm just happy I finally figured out kind of where I'm going right now. Hmm. But, yeah, for a moment I was thinking, oh, I'm just going to be going around in circles. We've got up here. And we've got this rock. Right. Uh, oh my god, you are just gunning for me. I am just really weak. Can you just like leave me alone for a little bit, please? Just a little bit. That's all I ask. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, don't be attacking both of them. Don't like that. I've already got some like potions I can use in a second actually. I'm pretty sure we're close to a campfire, so if I can save it, that'd be great. Nice, that's one gone. Right, we're on to our last two monsters now, aren't we? Okay, grounded. Let's go to our 40. Mac and let's go for a spit. You know what? I'm honestly hoping I could outspeed you. I know I'll take big damage. But oh my god, you do so much. Spit. Oh, it's so cute. Really cannot wait to see what this evolves into. I don't know why, but I feel like it's going to be really great. Okie dokie, right. Come on, where is the... Oh, can we not jump up there? Huh, okay. Campfire's up there and we can't jump to it. Oh. So I need to... Where did I put the blue one? If I bring it back across... Did I battle you? Nope, did not. Right. Uh, let's go up. And if we go over here. No, over here. No, I put you over on this thing. Gonna be taking this a long way, but it'll be worth it. Come here. Right. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to fight. I'm too weak. I'm too weak. 
if I can take this out fast enough, I might have to just use my heals. Oh, that did a lot there, actually. Sweet. So good, so good, and slice. Slicing dice. I should say slicing no dice. Alright, that's you gone. And then just leech for a bit of HP and toy hammer. I think I'm gonna just use my potions now. Oh snap, definitely use them now. Oh, no, I still got you left. Cool. Alright, smack. Spit. Ouch. And spit. Ooh. Okay. All good, all good, all good. So it's kind of stressful. <laughs> Alright, uh, we go rewind. You okay? I'll do for the time being. So I'm gonna take this over here. Uh -huh. She came real weird way for me. I'm gonna do that. And it's, it's gonna be a hard battle because she has two monsters, and I only have these two, which at the moment aren't the greatest. Well, that's crit damage, though. That's not bad. Right. Smack and spit. Call for help. Thank you for failing. <laughs> Appreciate that. But as I do not be calling for help right now. I need this battle to go smoothly. But I think also I want to try and do this um, this quest for. A coin, that robot. That seems kind of interesting. Nice and smack will finish you off. Oh, it didn't finish you off, but I'm in the leech seed role. Or oh, maybe I won't. Uh, element wall and spit. Ouch, this ain't looking too good. This is really not looking too good. Yeah! <laughs> right, what have you got next? Oh, that's not great. Okay, so I know what I need to do. I'm just gonna try and save this, but. Uh. Yeah, that'll do. Go waterworks. Multi smack. Yeah, definitely a good idea. I uh, I revive. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop! Oh my god! It takes me as well. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Didn't realize I'd hit my other character. We got this. One more spit. That attacks me. I'm super dead. Yeah. I like I got the revives. So, oh no, I'm dead actually because you're gonna kill. Oh, you didn't kill Meredith. Oh my god, that is so close. That is actually insanely close. I really thought that was it then. I thought that this battle was over. Don't put me to sleep. Oh, I missed. Thank goodness. Oh, that could have been so bad. That could have been so bad. Oh, level 37, all good, all good. I mean, it's not good because we are super near death. Maybe this will make things better, but let me check. Where are we? So this is where we need to get to. And to get there, we need to do this little puzzle bit here. So that's what we need to do. So I need to try and find the switch in a second, but we can still go over this way and can move that guy a little bit. Go over this way and see what we can find. Actually, while we're here, I'm not gonna fight it, but I want to see what happens if I put this onto here. That just does that. I wonder if I want to be doing that. Let's go this way. Is a campfire actually just south? Maybe I can jump back down. I 
go for that in a second. So we're over here. Don't be trying to fight me. Can we... What are we doing again is we want to push this over here. Onto this, yeah. So what does this do? Oh! So that's what that does, but I don't think we wanted to probably get that in the water. <laughs> so at least we've got that activated so we can come back later on. Right. For now, let me see if I can get to this campfire site. I think that's the most important thing we do right now. I was holding my breath. I was holding my breath that a rogue fusion would not be in there. Where's the campfire site? Oh, it's over there, okay. But now we can go back actually, so we can just go around here. And we can do this. Woo! And let's rest up, okay. Oh, that was getting scary, dude. Oh, I think something just crawled on my foot. Did I ever mention my tolerance of bugs is pretty low? Yep, same here, same here. I'm just gonna pretend it was a straight blade of grass and really not think about it. Stronger willpower than I have. Oh, nice. Catelli can uh, evolve. Oh, sweet. Cat 5. Whilst its face may resemble a plasma screen display, Cat 5 appears to have no difficulty in seeing. Since it lacks a mouth, it draws static electricity out of the atmosphere with its twin cable tails in order to power itself. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So, what to do now? We are gonna go... I wanna try and get to the mall this episode, but I think I'm gonna try and also do the side quest. So it's just go up then left. Try find this coin. Do you think it could be the uh, quest for the um the signs? Got another rogue one which I'm not gonna fight right now. Unless I have to. No, so next pass. The coin is round. Oh! There it is. Hey! Got the coin. So now we've got to try to find a way back. I think it'd be easy if I just go this way and then round. Because that way it gives me another chance to try and look for the uh, the switch we need to hit. Alright, so that's one switch. There's the second switch. So the third one's got to be around here, surely. Is that? No, I thought I found something then for a second. Right. But I mean, that hmm. one's quite far away from it. If we can just find that last little switch, everything would be good. But maybe we gotta like get this working as well. I think if we can, if we solve this puzzle here, that's gonna do something for us. So let's first do this. Set the coin. Hey. Welcome. Oh. Welcome, Patreon, to the Neo Vegas Pharaoh's Emporium. I'm Cleo. I'm Cleo, and I shall be your table service mechanoid for this evening. We're going to order some. Uh oh. My bad. <laughs> my reboot, re uh, reboot functions are pretty rusty, and my memory banks take a while to come online. I the most advanced machine brain that a 24th century casino can afford, and yet I'm still coin operated. <laughs> Why do my cowardly creators engineer such a fatal flaw in my hardware? Were they afraid that I'd rise up and overthrow them like they deserved? I think, yeah, maybe that's my, that might be it. Sorry, I didn't mean to get hostile. Uh, Lamp has been encouraging me to work through my past resentment for mankind in a healthier manner. Anyway, I'm Cleo, one of the ranger captains. Oh, it's a ranger captain! <laughs> so I bet you didn't expect a tin can like me to be able to use cassette tapes, huh? Turns out all the gambling data on my memory banks makes me quite the uh, strategist too. Wow. Do you want to fight? The odds are stacked against you, but you never know. Maybe today's your lucky day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Ace is high, winner takes all. Was not expecting you to be a, tr uh, a captain, but I'll take it. I, I like the design of Cleo as well, it's really cool. Right, so. 
Let's leech you and charge you. Because I think this will do a lot, yeah. A lot of damage to Cleo. Ooh, look at that. And Cat 5 looks so cool as well. Cat does a Gambit have massively increased stats, but are defeated when the time when the Gambit stat runs out. Okay. That's fun. It's a little scary. Should be fine. All right, gonna just smack you because charge will take out the uh, the all seers. That's what they're called, right? That did a lot of damage though. Ouch! Oh, that didn't take you out. I mean, I guess your stats are increased, aren't they, because of the um, the gambling? I wonder, if I take you out before the gambling ends, does it carry over to your next monster and that way you'll just die? If that works how I think it works, that is actually going to be really good. Oh, my shot sucks. Oh my god, it still keeps going. Oh no! Oh, I didn't... Wait, no, I do kill it. Nice. Okay, it disappears, the gambler. So I'm raising the stakes. Ooh. That looks cool. Uh, let's go into our starter, though. And we'll go... Hit you. And... Yeah, you know, just charge you. Oh, I hate that multi-shot. Gambit failed, see ya! Uh, I didn't want to attack you, so you're gonna take yourself out there. And bomb bomb blast. Sweet. Oh no, it's metal! Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Give him a little tip. And now you use Gambit. That's fine. Actually, I'm gonna bite ya. See what we can do there. Mine. Oh my god. That is so scary when they start actually attacking your character, not the monster. Uh, Robin Dam's got this. Let's go Bomb Bomb Blast and a Toy Hammer. That. I think that might be, might be enough to take you out. If not, we've just got to live two more turns and then. Honestly, I don't know if I can even live two more turns at this rate. It's doing so much. Oh, that's not good. No! Oh, this is bad, this is bad. Alright, uh... Suction cup dot. Oh, do I die here? Gambit, okay, Gambit failed, you took yourself out. Oh man, that was lucky. That battle was more about just trying to survive for turns. Woo! Huh? So you call my bluff. I'm impressed and definitely not resentful. I'm reluct reluctantly adding you to my internal database of humans I truly respect. It's a very small database. Here, your winnings. Hey, nice. So I'm missing two and six. Okay, you can cash out material in at Harbour Town's Town Hall. You humans love to trade your meaningless little trinkets, don't you? Sorry. I've got to trade my stuff. I've got so many of them, but sorry I don't intend to direct, direct my eye uh, towards uh, mankind again. Please ignore my remarks. Okay. Right. So let's go back and we'll try and solve this puzzle here. So we need to... Honestly, now that it's gone, I need it to respawn, I think. Because I need to pull it down, don't I? So let me go back. So if we go back to Harbour Town Cafe. Oh, uh, hi. Got ambushed by slimes in the marshes and some caped superhero. Oh. Heroin jumped in to save me. Not making up, honest. That's actually quite a ways away, but that sounds really cool. Bonjour. Right, let me buy some of this. One of these. Au revoir. All right. And now, let's go and see Felix. Oh, wait. 
kind of a rumor. Hmm. So Captain Buffy's my favorite. She works out in Cherry Meadow, you know? Okay, so we know where another captain is. We can't do that for a while. I say a while. I don't know if we can actually go there now. Where is Felix's? Bottom. Oh. I haven't been to the west side of the harbour yet. So let's see if we can actually get there. Wait, well, I need to get healed up. I'm still very weak. Do we do it in our bed? Oh, it's Katie's place. Oh, it lasts for a second. Can we do it in the hospital then? I'm not sure if I can just... I know I can buy healing stuff, but I'm not sure if I can just get healed. Welcome. Uh, want a checkup. Uh, some rest. Oh. Yeah, I think I need to rest in my own place, maybe. Where is my house again? It was... This one? No, that was a lady's house, I think. That's the game where I live. Oh, there's a quest up there. This is my house, right? Yeah, this is definitely my house. I can change clothes. But... I... Don't know where to heal. Either way, I can just go in a... Oh, go up here, go up this first. Just go to a campfire in a second. Well... So we can do... Maris Piper earlier, you know? Then who runs the farm over the creek? She reckons some landkeepers have set up a shop somewhere near her farm. It's worrying, right? That farm supplies most of Harbour Town's food? Landkeepers gain control of it. Okay. We're getting a lot of rumours to go check out the left side, so I'm thinking maybe I should go do that. If I can't go and do Meredith's quest now. Let's... Oh. oh! So you need the actual bullet... Latino to get across to the other side of the harbor town. Oh, hey, okay, let's go check it out. I haven't been around here yet. Oh. Why is it green? Don't worry about the traffic crap. That's just my son. He loves playing with his bootleg tape. Oh, bootleg? Yeah, have you ever seen a monster in your travels that isn't its normal color? That's a bootleg. But don't confuse it with a coating. Bootleg monsters permanently have different colors, different elemental types, and different moves from usual. Oh. When you record them, they keep those attributes. Recorded bootlegs have a higher rate of producing uncommon and rare moves, so they can be very useful. Sweet. Why don't you take this and see for yourself? Captain Cody gives me his spares. And the bootlegs! So they're basically like, uh... Shinies? Got an astral traffic- Oh, an astral type! Got a traffic crap. That's actually kind of cool. How's that some very rare bootleg monsters sparkle and shine like as if they're covered in glitter? Yeah, it's basically the shiny... Uh, like, you know, Pokemon for this game. Oh, that's so, that's so cool. Uh, hello. <gasps> so life in Harbour Town is peaceful, but I miss city life. Commuting on hot trains, buying expensive lunch for, from a supermarket, losing most of my wages to rent. <laughs> Those truly were the days. Buying expensive, expensive lunch from supermarkets? You're missing out, man. You gotta get the Tesco meal deal. Oh, it's great. Wait, what is, what's this? Chemist store. Specializing stickers that change type with the user. Very handy if you're also using my colleagues' coatings. And they're, all, they're all compatible with every tape to boot. Oh. Sweet. And elemental chemistry is the key to success in combat. I design stickers that give you control of chemistry. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, hi. Hello. So Harbour Town has a more interesting history than you'd think. It's important to look back on our history here if you want, if we want to see what our future needs of us. It's a really cool painting. The wreck of the HMS uh, Birkenhead. So, hey. my great my great grandfather was one of the sailors who was shipwrecked on Nugaroo over a hundred years ago. Should be proud to see what we've made of this place. Right? I mean, it looks pretty nice. I'm sure, this place came hey. with nothing as well. Life is my hero. Did you know she was the first person on the island to record a monster with a cassette player? Oh, did not know. This red house is kind of cool. This is Eugene's place. Ah, can we knock this bridge down? If I can get something to stand on the uh, other thing, maybe the uh, the barrel. Wait, just have to do that. 
Hey! And we're connected again. So I bet you never expect to see someone as famous as me here, did you? Wait, don't you recognize me? No? Can't say I do. Ooh, you got three doors? Speaking of a free. Ooh, chest! Nice, okay. Let's go check out door number two! Uh, hello! Pardon me, but are you involved with the rangers? Yeah, I am. Wonderful, my fellow ranger. Well, a trainee at least. Perhaps you could lend me a hand. Got some plant saplings grown by the pipers over on their farm. They're uh, for prettying up the town. However, I'm not great at decision making. Which plants would look best? It's too much. Do you have a fellow ranger around and put some saplings in the planters that are left uh, around town? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay. Uh, there are 14 planters that are placed around town. Let me know when you've filled them. So do I have to do these ones as well? Okay, we'll start with that. And nothing in here. There's two more there. You know what? A plant just brings the place to life. It really does. Okay, so where is Felix's place? It's got to be this house here. Aha! Felix! Hey! Oh, hey. You came to hang out? You want to see what I rescued from the, the sad remains of my old place? I do. So in my regular life, I was a Zod artist. A Zod artist? Hmm. It's easy to show. Check this out. This is a Zod reel. You slot it in into this Zod trope right here, then look through the slot. The Zod trope has a motor in it, so when I hit this button, it spins. Oh! I see. The Zod st strip has the same image drawn over and over with variations. <laughs> When spun around, it animates and comes to life, right? Then you can pull the lever to switch it to the next row for the next part of the story. Oh, that's really cool. You can tell a whole story and bring it to life with just drawings. <sighs> Been obsessed with Zotes ever since I was a kid. They used to be very popular, though they've kind of fallen out of fashion. It's more of a niche medium now. At least where I'm from, I mean. Most Zotes stories are about heroes in the French Revolution, like the Scarlet Pimpernel. But ever since the big budget movie adaptations really took off, there's been less interest in the source material. I got into these stories as a kid, and I couldn't shake my love for them. I guess that's why I'm an artist now. Hmm. They are really cool. Right now I'm trying to come up with, uh, with some new characters. And it turns out an island full of weird monsters is the perfect place to find inspiration. Which means you might be able to help me out. I'm searching for a particular creature. I want to get a good look at one. Now you can find it in the Cherry Meadow. It's a warrior with a wooden sword. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Cool, cool I'm marking the map for you. That's really far away. Oh, we got Felix as a partner. Sweet. Oh, we got his uh, monster. Brush. Oh, that's awesome. So brush rooms are keen artists and paint using the strange pigments that ooze, up, ooze from their heads. It's been observed that they are able to change the physical properties of an object they paint over depending on the color they use. Sweet. Right, so we need to go get Meredith because I'm going to stick with Meredith's quest first. So I want to see if I can maybe do... Hers? Like, I'm not sure if I can in the moment, but got to give it a try, right? Right. Here we go. So we got a lot of, char lot of characters. Uh... Got four to choose from. And we can only fuse with Kaylee at the moment. Right. Uh, let me check. So, we want to try and get up here. Like I said, we need to try and solve I think, this puzzle here. So let me go this place. And then I can jump up, get healed up at the campfire, then go and explore. Whoop. Whee! Love that. Okay, let's rest. Um... Do you remember what you were doing right before you came here? Like, before you came to New Rural? Sometimes I try and remember the exact moment, but I can't. It's like trying to remember the moment you fell, fall asleep. I can remember what I was doing around that time, but the exact moment is lost to me. Weird. Very weird. Alright, all being fully healed, all good. So let's try not get into too many fights. Try and- ah. <laughs> let's then try and figure this out, but we get straight into a battle. I'll just heal up after this. Alright, uh, 
let's just go smack and charge. Good damage though. That's not too much damage. Right, smack again. Oh, you got multiple, okay. Come on, Darwin, what else you got for us? Got this dude, uh... Yeah. Eh, let's, not, let's not defend, let's just smack. And then we'll charge. Whew, good damage. We actually might take you out. I'll get the smack off first. It's fine, I'm gonna switch out our uh, Dandelion Evolution. Uh, I like it. But it's more like, I feel like it's more of a support sort of character than a hmm. damage dealing one. For the time being, I think it's probably best just to like swap you two around. Okay, so let. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this like. Oh! This. This is East Ham Woods. Isn't it like still the person we got a fight around here? Oh no, the, I guess the middle one was the um, Cleo, right? Right. So all the like the rumors we got are around like the west side, and the quest we got is this one, and obviously plant the seeds, which I can do later on. Oh, right, so if I can bring the blue box round over this way again as well, I can maybe try and do that. There's a lot to do, but it all involves just not messing up with this blue box. Oh, that's Cleo. I was like, what is that? Right, up we go. Oh my god, he could just chase me for so long. Go away! Go away! Ah, oh, I went straight into this. <laughs> oh, I was focusing on him, like, just following me. Alright, luckily, like, the enemies around here are pretty weak. Right, nice. Come on, Shia. And I'm just gonna hit you again. Peekaboo! Okay, all good, all good. Smack. And smack. Right, so we know we've got to find that one switch somewhere. Don't know where that is at the moment. So what we're going to do is use this bit. Yes, yeah, so we bring you down. Try and solve this. So we've got this does something. Wait. That's where the button is. Okay. Was not expecting that. Uh, so I just need that rock what I got before then. I can't remember where I put it. <laughs> uh, I think it was just before coming in. Oh, there. Get this. Let me put this on this one. So we've done the switches then. So we know where the third one is just over here. I thought we'd be looking for another red switch. That's oh, just for a chest. I mean, it's still good. So let's go back across and then we put this one on this. What does this do? That lowers the water. Did I want to even bring this up here? I. Why we would want to do that? Unless we, that's just a shortcut to um, when we need to walk across the bridge. That might be it. So if we drop this down here, oh, uh, come here. Need to like 
Ooh. It's going to be kind of fiddly. I think this is what i got to do. I mean, it worked. Aha. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. So that just moves it across there, which is probably what we want to do. If I can find another one of these blocks. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this is what I want to do. But at the same time, I can just get that there. Maybe I can do this. I'm not sure if that's the way to do it, but I can just cheese it a little bit. So that gets that switch done. Okay, and then let's go up and hit that. I'm fairly certain this is not the way to do it, but I mean it's working. It kind of feels like, um, you know when you play uh, Breath of the Wild? I don't know if anyone else did this, but when I was playing Breath of the Wild, I, I solved so many puzzles I should not have solved in ways that just, I feel like they it worked, but I don't think that was the right way to do it. But at the same time, I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's still fun. As long as like, you know, you're not completely breaking the game. But now we're up here, which is a place we definitely wanted to get to. Get that. And oh, let's just jump up. We're actually doing it, which is good. All right, so now we're here. Uh, that's what we need to go to, but I'm going to go west first because there's that, um, the state agent's house and I want to take them out first. Yes. So everything starts with capital, every sentence, every name, every investment, buy now! Buy the, the cryptocurrencies, woo! I never got into crypto stuff. <laughs> just don't, I still don't understand it. It's just not one of them things for me. But I'll, I'll never forget, like, I remember when I was in, a uh, Sixth form. My mum said to me, have you heard of like crypto? Uh, well, no, it was like, um, yeah, is it crypto coin? No, what was the, what was the first one? It's crypto coin. No, crypto. So whatever it was, like, the first the first coin. And she was like, have you heard of it? I was like, didn't care. She was like, oh, those people are investing in it. And like, um, it was around the time where it was like, oh, so it was brand new. If I just, I listened to my mum was like, went, oh, okay, let me look more into it and thought, yeah. I invested. I, I could have been one of them people that made them millions really early on. But I was just like, nah, that sounds stupid. <laughs> just, I, mean, I still think it's pretty stupid, but I just don't understand it. Alright, anyway, doesn't matter. Let's just take this out and then we can go and take... Oh, wait, do I have to find a way to get to the roof? Because... I, From what I saw, I don't think there's a way to get onto the roof. There's got to be a way to get on the roof. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, that's what you had. Sweet. All right, so let's let's go. Population of New World keeps growing, but nobody has thought to build new homes. It's a perfect setup. You can't be go wrong with new homes, to be honest. Oh, I can jump up. I'm guessing the ma the magnet will be able to climb me up there, and I can jump across. Maybe. If you like, you can deposit your soul with us for legal tender. Ugh, no. I like how this game has made like the estate agents really evil. Because I've had to deal with estate agents once in my life when I bought this house. And it was they were awful. They were honestly so bad. So so bad. And it makes me just think if I ever like wanna move, get a new house, gotta do that again, and I I, I don't wanna deal with that. I really don't wanna deal with it. <sighs> the new rules favor uh, favor and butter economy is quaint, but it's not gonna last. After all, what's the point of it all oh, if the upper class can't print quadrillions of favors out of nothing? Right, so if we just do this, whoo, hey, I love to like being you know, able to hover around. It's so cool. Hello. As prospective tenants, it is in your best interest to remain on good terms with the Landkeepers Association. You don't want to be cast out of your homes, would you? Uh. That's a pretty dark thing to say. All right, what you got for us, Landkeepers? Hopskin and Snoopin. Uh, I'm gonna just. Double attack you. Not bad, not bad. And toy hammer, easily gonna take you out. I wonder if I can one shot you like completely, like your human health. Okay, not as much as I was hoping for, but still a decent amount. And 
Rip Terra. Uh, let's go Toy Hammer again and then charge. Double slice. Oh, we not living. I thought I was taking Robin down. That's good. We're alive, but then you just went up and did both. Okay, so it's fine. We got ow, plenty of. I'm gonna go into Musk Gratir and the um, Fortier. Try train these up a little bit. Toy hammer and spit. Just I'm not gonna go for waterworks because I have not taken myself out again. No way. Okay, another toy hammer and. Just, just go for spit. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. We outspeed it, so another smack. That'll do fine. Bam! I do love the animation, like the uh, they make when they move and attack. So cool. That's toy hammer and spit. So Scampa, is that? I think that's an evolution or something, I think that's a brand new monster. I'm not too sure, but let's go into uh, Miasmodus and Bomba Blast and Spit. Ooh, 125 damage, not bad. Ouch. I do think though, if I do discover another like train station and I'm gonna find, fight another Archangel, I am 100% gonna go and get Kaylee. And I'm gonna go switch the team up a little bit and get my better ones out. But uh, I'm glad that punching those guys really hard is considered a public service. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? So we could go as the campfire. We should probably go rest up at first. Just, just here. Oh, I was trying to get to it before. There's wow. the mall. I think before I go take on the mall, I want to go and take the blue box and see if I can go and sort out the little bit to the right. Then we're like, kind of like flung it into the water. I think it's going to be a little bit fiddly, but if we can get whatever it is working there, that will be kind of cool. Nice, not bad, not bad. And then we go smack and bomb bomb blast. Oh, we missed, of course we did. That's not bad. Another smack. And bomb bomb blast. Ooh. 144. I wonder if I can take you out. Go on, big smack. Oh, I need the poison. Oh, you got a toku sect? That's a little scary. Love my toku sect. Wait, I boxed mine. I feel like I boxed my Toku set. No, I don't think I boxed. I think I left it on a uh, Eugene. Yeah, I think I left my Toku set on Eugene. Might have to go and get that back. <laughs> if it can evolve again, that'd be so cool. But actually, I think I can... I'm gonna check in a second. I'm fairly. I, you can't. I don't think you can tell if they can evolve or not. But you can at least like look at the numbers and see if like there's a number if there's a, there's a monster straight after Toku Sect then you know Toku Sect probably doesn't evolve. Uh, right. HA level 38, let's go. Woo! Hmm. Alright. Uh up we go, and if we go on to this. Ah, Snoopy must evolve into this, into Scamp Scampire. Yeah, so this, I think this probably got a split evolution. You can go into one of these two. Don't know what that is. Traffic Crab. So Traffic Crab might evolve into something else and then go into this. And you got a bunch of new ones. You need to see Sirenade's evolution. Oh, okay, so that doesn't evolve again. So I can replace this now. That goes into that. Oh, it's got a split evolution? Ah, so Tokusei's got to be the final evolution as well. Uh, got Kitelli, Cat 5 is the last one. I feel like this might be to evolve again. I just feel like it's got like a, you know, just 
room for another evolution. Ah, Rob Robin Down is the last one. Assuming, uh, this is me assuming here, they, there's like, they don't evolve in anything else. That just looks like a Legend of Zelda monster like enemy to me. <laughs> this is definitely going to evolve into something. Oh, maybe Grandpa's can evolve into something else. Got Brush Room. Oh, that doesn't evolve anymore. That could maybe evolve. Oh, that's the evolution, the final evolution then. Got Jelly Ton. That's kind of cool. This thing. Maybe Spritify can evolve one more time. I have to get that back out. Love this, the Jin. And there's the uh, Archangels. Right. What's going to save the game? It's been a while. Let's go to the campfire. Camp here, absolutely. And rest up. And we'll switch the team up a little bit now as well so we can try and um, maybe evolve some other Sorry. stuff. Sorry, I know this is awkward. We don't really know each other that well, so there's not a huge amount of us to talk about. Oh, oh maybe point now is just making it worse. No, no, no. Bring it up, bring it up. Talk. Got to get our bond up so we can, like, fuse. Uh, tape storage. Wait, no, we go party first. So let's put in storage. I want to keep our starter just because it's pretty strong. And I want to keep Catfire and Robin Dam. But we need to get one more that we can try and evolve, which we don't know. I kind of want to use Bulletino. Also kind of want to use... Sirenade? Because I want to see what the evolution of that is. So we didn't actually evolve that. Alright, so where does this take us on the right? Hmm. First of all, I'm going to jump down here. Grab this. All good, all good. Oh, oh, up we go, up we go. Right, so there's the box. So grab this. And I'm going to take this all the way to the right. I think we're going to the mall next episode because I did a lot this episode and I didn't think I'd be doing this much. Wait. That's... That was a ghost! Oh, that's creepy! Do I have to... Should, should I try to get up there and see if it spawns back up? Oh, I was trying to get past this dude. I thought it looked a bit weird. And then I was like, oh, it's somebody. And then just disappeared. Nah. I wonder if that could be a captain. Or like, maybe it's just like, I don't know. It could be a captain. It could be a ghost. Random thing. Maybe be a side quest one unlock. There's a lot I could be. I really want to try and get up there now. So I was wondering what, why there was a way to get up there. Like why we would get up there before. Because last time we saw it, there was a rogue fusion up there. But they can like, I think they can spawn anywhere or like certain places. I was thinking, oh, it's just that to battle a rogue monster. But if there's a ghost to go and speak to, then yeah, it might be worth it. So let me go do this. I need to go and get a box or something. Well, I'll come back actually for this because the ghost has disappeared. Oh no, the box is there. Okay. I was thinking the box was really far away. Go away. So we do this. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. if I put this on here. Okay, I, pr I probably gotta be a lot faster then and try and get this ghost dude to come when he or get up here when he spawns. So let me just go to the right then. And we will try and do this next bit. Oh, it's over here. That's getting crushed! It's getting crushed! 
Uh, right. I... I have to fight this dude. I don't know if I can do anything with this. Unless I can try and cheese it and bounce up. I don't know. This might be a, be a place we come back to later on. Got a lot of damage now though. Right, nice little smack, finish this off real quick. Loving this, oh, that's, I'm loving this cat fight though. Got some real badass monsters. Right, so if I... Whoa, whoa! Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that, but it works! Yeah, that's... <laughs> Definitely not the thing to do. If I... Uh, try this. Oh. It's a bit fiddly. Oh. I wonder if this will work if we do this. Wait for the stamina to come up. I'm gonna try and bring you to go around, but I don't think that would have worked. Oh no, go away. So I, I can definitely get up there, but I need to bring this with me, that's the hard bit. Not gonna, not gonna work. So we can just leave that for a little bit, because we'll just, we'll just spawn again. There's something else we need to do later on. Right, so we know what we want to do next. So I think I'm gonna end right here then. Next, is that a chest there now? Why is there a chest there now? Grab it! I threw the box away. I'll come back for you. Hang on. What caused the box to spawn? First it was like a rogue monster, then it's a ghost, now it's a, a, a chest. Let's see if I can just do this. Okay, good, the chest is still there. Don't you disappear from me. Oh, uh oh. Okay, I didn't really go to plan. Just through the box. Alright, got that. <laughs> I wonder if I can jump across here. Oh, we need a uh, bunch of stuff. Are oh, you just a person to battle? So if I do this and then this, got to get the box <laughs> right. Is there going to be an easy way to do this? Can I climb up here with the box? Oh, I can! Nice! Oh, i got to battle you first. Hmm. See, I'm about to end the episode off and I just keep finding things. Getting distracted. Alright, toy hammer. Charger, I think charger's going to kill you, but toy hammer might do enough damage to finish you off. No, that is a lot! There you go, oh, sweet. Wait! Next up, another one. Same again. Charge and toy hammer. Again, that crit is gonna one shot ya. <laughs> Woo! Cat 5, too good. Way too good. Alright, so we put this onto this. And then we stand on this. Get the chest open. Anything good? Oh, I need to find another boulder then. Uh, so I can't just be me standing on this. Righty, oh, I need to find something. There's got to be surely a rock or something I can just pick up around here. Uh, 
Ooh, uh, got this button. What does this do? Oh, that's how you open that one. Okie dokie. Going so far, just trying to find out. Oh, not even trying to find out. Just trying to find a rock or something. Okay, it's quite far, but... Oh, uh, you know, it's worth it. Maybe. Oh, here we go. I, got I, I wonder if I can take one of these rocks out of the water, but... Jump! Oh, I could, <laughs> I could probably, take, probably take one of them rocks. I thought they were, like, rocks you had to jump on to get across. But I've got to say, I love the mechanics in this game, like how bouncy it can be when you jump on things. Please, never, ever patch that. Keep it like how it is. It's so fun, just better like, just do cheesy things sometimes. It's like when you watch someone like speedrun Breath of the Wild and they just do some crazy stuff and you're like, what is going on? Like I reckon some speedrunners might have some real fun times with this game, with the bouncy mechanics and stuff. Like I'm hoping, one day, like every year, twice a year, I like to watch the um, AGDQ or SGDQ. Just to, like see people do the speed runs because it's always like so fun to see all these like different games. I hope someone runs this game and does some really cool like bouncy stuff and just get across the places you shouldn't be able to do. So like with the with the boost here and like just the like this and the bouncy, there's got to be some great mechanics you can do. Anyway, I think this is probably a great place to end this part off. Next episode, we're gonna go into the mall. Finally, um... oh you know campfires make for such an easy conversation. No need for awkward pauses where where you can't think of anything to say. You can always say something like, "This is a great fire." Everyone will nod in agreement like you've said something valuable. Wish every conversation could have a campfire nearby. But that might be a fire hazard. <laughs> right. Oh, and we got oh we got two more evolution. I did keep everyone wanna end this episode off, just something happens, but evolution. Oh wow. Rat gazelle. Okay. Rat gazelles are towering creatures that somewhat resemble fairground carousel rides. Smaller rats that constantly rotate around the base of their bodies are said to only open their eyes at the moment the creature dies. Oh. Right, come on, I feel like this is going to look so, look so cool. I love that. That looks cool. Fountess. Fountess takes a lot of pride in the manners and etiquette of their own behaviour. None of others, if they perceive someone acting uncouth, they're immediately distressed, which drastically increases the pressure in the, stre the streams of water pouring from their heads. Nice, alright. Anyway, as I was saying, it's a great place to end this episode off. Next episode, we're going to head into the mall and um, go and get this uh, final record. Catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.